oh, 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 oh. All right, up here again on the Yamaha YDF Moro 07. Uh, today I'm gonna ride it up on the MTB power setting. That is the yellow bars, three yellow bars. We'll see how quick it gets me to the top and we'll compare it to the two previous rides up on the lower power settings. Here we go. And it's freezing cold this morning. Ah, 49, well it's freezing for California. All right, I'm at 2.77 miles. Climbed 800 feet. I just dropped one bar of battery. And we'll compare that to how it was before on the lower power setting. All right, I made it to the top of Echo. <clears throat> uh, 33 minutes so far, but that's from my truck, not from the trailhead. Uh, 4.49 miles, uh, what's that, 1,300 feet of elevation gain. Still on three bars of battery left. I've only dropped one so far, and this thing books on the way up. It's cold, and what I wasn't thinking was normally when I'm climbing, I'm like, you know, four or five miles an hour, so there's no wind, and this thing, I'm flying up here like, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 miles an hour. Man, I'm freezing. <clears throat> oh, well, onward to the top of tombstone trailhead all right i just dropped to two bars half battery power half battery life left and uh let's see 41 minutes 5.78 miles and i am uh, if you're familiar with this area i just passed beak's place and i'm starting this climb right here up to the doppler and we'll compare this to the previous times on the lower power setting see how the battery's holding out and how far i got Okay, bye. All right, made it to the top of uh, Tombstone Trailhead. We're at seven, seven miles, 49 minutes, 2,200 feet. Is that what that says with climbing? Yep. And I never, uh, it never dropped down to two bar or to a one bar of battery. Still half the battery power left. Well, I mean, I guess a portion of half the battery power not enough drop to drop it down to one super happy with this yamaha <sighs> great bike all right i'm gonna go do a little trail work trail work done now for the fun part i get to head down boom nice Wow. Well, oh, that's going off. Ugh. Action packed. Well, if you couldn't see on the video what happened there, um, there was that rock that I'm going to move right now. <laughs> this one that I tried to go outside of, which put me over the berm. And that's never any good. Okay, that's why I wear all these pads. Because <laughs> you never know. Get off my hand. Okay, now I gotta get back in the flow. Of course, I wasn't really in it. Anyways, it was such a short start up from where I was working on the trail. I may still have a little too much air in these tires. I'm gonna have to keep on experimenting with air pressure. I 
think right now I'm running 18 in the front and 20 in the back. And I'm pretty sure that's too much for a 27.5, 2.6. Cause that's what I run in my 29. And they're not this wide. Slippery, dry and slippery. It's a whole different trail in the winter when it's damp dirt, hero dirt. Well, we're coming to the end of the tombstone. The end. Nice, got a lot done on the trail. Yum house working great. Just gotta stay on top of the berms and not go over the tops of them. Fun single track exiting out of Tombstone on Hagador Canyon. There's a tree down. I doubt if anybody else cleared it. I was gonna try to do that today, but I used up all my time. On Tombstone. Go, baby, go. Oh. <laughs> wow e-bike power <laughs> it is farther than i make it on the the pedal power bike another thing with the e-bike is when you get to these sections where you got to carry it they're heavy not too heavy but heavy i was here two days ago on my fazari to saw peak i crashed I was going too slow over these rocks and you know how you go too slow and you'll kind of hit one little stall yeah right about here yeah not a comfortable spot to fall but it was okay oh yeah i think i made this so you can ride it but uh, maybe i'll do that another day <laughs> uh, trim off some of those branches so I can get a straight shot at it. This is the longest section you have to walk. Not that long though. Here, I'll leave the camera running. You can see how long it is. Ta-da! That's it. Right there. And then, just a couple small crossings. How many are there where you have to walk? Maybe... Are there any more? Oh yeah, this one. Duh. Yeah, this one. Right. You know, actually, I think uh, this power setting right here which is all the bars in the green. I think it's a hair too much for this. I'm gonna kick it down a notch. Some of those little tight kind of techie sections. And actually, the power kicks on. <laughs> it's a lot of power. It's too much. And like today, I rode up to the top on the MTB setting, which I believe is max power. And there's one setting higher than it. I can't remember what it's called. 
something with an X in it, I think. But anyways, I think it's the same amount, but it applies it different or something like that. Yeah. So, uh, whatever point I was going to make there, I just forgot. Anyways. Oh yeah, I got to walk this section. And then, there's a tight spot here with two rocks, one on the right, one on the left. Because they're dying to scratch your bike frame. Yeah. That one right there. And that one right there. <clears throat> oh, here it is. Yep. Nobody cleared it. And uh, I gotta bring a big chainsaw up for that one. The little one would do it, but it's gonna take a lot out of it. A lot out of that little chain. Right. Walk this. I wonder if I can ride that. It is an e-bike. feel very fortunate to have a trail like this that's in between my house and my work so I just stop on the way to work squeeze in a fun ride and then head on to work Another teeny section you gotta carry your bike. These sections change in the winter depending on how much rain we get. And some of the ones that you know you can ride like during the end of summer because everybody's walking back and forth across them and smoothing them out. At the end of winter, after all the rain, some of them you can't even ride. The rocks are super exposed and the edges are steep. Walk. Oh, I gotta keep the head down. Got the lights on the top of my helmet. Rock. And roll. Spot here over these roots, over these rocks, over that pipe, and boom! Made it. I had an issue with my back tire. Okay, you know, I, you watched all these videos on this. I flatted it on my first ride. So, uh, and it put a slice in the tire. And it was too big for a sealant because I tried to, to make it tubeless. It wouldn't work. So anyways, bought a DHR, put that in the rear, tubeless. And uh, I do wonder if I even did one ride on it. But then it was in the garage and it was flat. And I'm like, oh, that's not a quite sealed. So I put some air in it. And then it went flat again. And I'm like, what? I'm spinning it, checking it. And it's still flat. And so I start spraying it with some soapy water and I find this teeny hole in the side of the rim. Right there. Uh, yeah, I probably can't see it. Anyways, the front rim has one also. And I uh, don't know what it's for. 
but it goes into that chamber where the smoke nipples are. So I could, oh, and bubbles were coming out of that. So I was like, dang, what the heck? So I thought the only thing it could be is the rim tape is letting air out. Oh yeah, I guess if I can make this section, getting better at it. Just gotta make it across here. Yes, from there and up here. Sweet. So I pulled the rim tape off. Sure enough, kind of split in it. Maybe from when I was popping the tire off. I don't know. But anyways, retaped it, and it's good now. But that was annoying. But it should be good now. Yikes. So many sharp rocks. Hikers who hike this trail. I don't have a bell on this bike yet. I just gotta keep an eye out. Usually if I meet them, it's around this section. Because nobody likes to start as early as, as I guess when I'm up here. Like that's probably mine for Monday. I think I'll take the other way out. Instead of going left here, you go right. And hang right here. This is uh, one you don't want to meet. A hiker coming around the corner. Ah. Bushwhacker. That's it. That completes this ride, which was good. Like in this bike, works perfect. Give me some time to get up the mountain fast so I can do some trail work. Other than that, I do like pedaling still, but this one is definitely cool. And for the price they had these at. Uh, I couldn't pass it up. All right, well, I'll put some totals on at the end of the climb and stuff about this. <sighs> 734. Oh man, I still gotta make it to your blender. <laughs> <laughs>